Let's look now at another dataset, the Piedmont Wines dataset. We have 178 samples of red wine from the Piedmont region of Italy. The features measure chemical composition, like alcohol content, and visual properties like colour intensity. The samples come from three distinct varieties of wine. Let's take the array of samples and use k-means to find three clusters. There are three varieties of wine, so let's use pandas crosstab to check the cluster label wine variety correspondence. As you can see, this time things haven't worked out so well. The k-means clusters don't correspond well with the wine varieties. The problem is that the features of the wine dataset have very different variances. The variance of a feature measures the spread of its values. For example, the malic acid feature has a higher variance than the OD280 feature, and this can be seen from their scatter plot. The differences in some of the feature variances is enormous, as seen here, for example, in the scatter plot of OD280 and proline features. In k-means clustering, the variance of a feature corresponds to its influence on the clustering algorithm. To give every feature a chance, the data needs to be transformed so that the features have equal variance. This can be achieved with the standard scalar from Scikit-learn. It transforms every feature to have mean 0 and variance 1. The resulting standardized features can be very informative. Using standardized OD280 and proline, for example, the three wine varieties are much more distinct. Let's see the standard scalar in action. First, Import standard scalar from sklearn.preprocessing. Then, create a standard scalar object and fit it to the samples. The transform method can now be used to standardize any samples, either the same ones or completely new ones. The APIs of standard scalar and k-means are similar, but there is an important difference. Standard scalar transforms the data and so has a transform method. K-means, in contrast, assigns cluster labels to samples, and this is done using the predict method. Let's return to the problem of clustering the wines. We need to perform two steps. Firstly, to standardize the data using standard scalar, and secondly, to take the standardized data and cluster it using K-means. This can be conveniently achieved by combining the two steps using a scikit-learn pipeline. Data then flows from one step into the next automatically. The first steps are the same, creating a standard scalar and a k-means object. After that, import the make pipeline function from sklearn.pipeline. Apply the make pipeline function to the steps that you want to compose. In this case, the scalar and the k-means objects. Now use the fit method of the pipeline to fit both the scalar and k-means, and use its predict method to obtain the cluster labels. Checking the correspondence between the cluster labels and the wine varieties reveals that this new clustering, incorporating standardization, is fantastic. Its three clusters correspond almost exactly to the three wine varieties. This is a huge improvement on the clustering without standardization. Standard scalar is an example of a pre-processing step. There are several of these available in scikit-learn, for example, max, abs scalar, and normalizer. You've learned a lot in this video. Now put it into practice and cluster some datasets.